A Troll Story by Nicholas Heller. Lewis knew how to turn himself into a troll whenever he wanted to. He felt, however, that his family would not approve, so he only turned himself into a troll late at night. Trolls, in any event, love to be up and about while everyone else is asleep. Lewis's troll name was Mel de Groot, and his troll size was nine feet seven and a half inches. When Lewis was a troll, he had to bend way over to fit through doorways. He had to tiptoe carefully down the creaky staircase. Trolls weigh 700 pounds. And be extra careful not to bump into things and knock them over. Yet Lewis found that becoming a troll at night could be useful. He was able to lift the cat down from the tree without getting a ladder. He could scare away burglars, if any ever happened to come along. And of course, as Neil de Groot, the troll, there was no reason to be afraid of strange noises in the dark. Sometimes Lewis was tempted to turn himself into a troll during the daytime too. For example, when the teacher had just asked him an impossible question, or when his little sister wouldn't leave him alone, or when a kid named Humphrey, who lived down the block, wouldn't leave him alone either. But Lewis managed to restrain himself. He didn't want his secret to be known. Lewis's favorite thing to do when everyone else had gone to sleep was to invite a bunch of trolls over for a party in his backyard. Lewis was very popular with the other trolls. Not only was he particularly good at games, but he was the only one who could turn himself into a little boy. The other trolls thought this was a pretty neat trick. And Lewis found it useful, especially when they were playing tag. Trolls may be bigger and stronger than little boys, but little boys are quicker and more agile than trolls. One night, after a hard game of tag, when all the trolls were sitting around catching their breath, Lewis stood up and said, You trolls wait here. I'll go and make us some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Lewis was hard at work when into the kitchen came his father. What are you doing up at this hour? he asked. And what in the world are you planning to do with all those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Lewis couldn't think up a good story, so he told the truth. These are for some troll friends of mine. We were playing tag, and I thought they might be hungry. Oh, I see, said his father. But I'll tell you what. It's getting near sunrise, and those trolls will be wanting to get back to their caves. Why don't we let them go, and we'll get back to bed. We'll save these sandwiches for tomorrow. All right, said Lewis, and they went upstairs. But before Lewis got back into bed, he went to his window and called out into their backyard, Ugarnut, Uberun, which means in troll language, good night, everyone. <laughs>